welcome everyone. Today I thought I would do an unboxing of a, a new Visconti I got. I actually did an unboxing on Instagram earlier. Uh, I have since inked the pen, but I've just cleaned it out and uh, I thought I would do a, a slightly longer one on YouTube. So uh, here's the unboxing. So uh, this is one of the uh, new, um, as of March 2018, or almost April, um, the Visconti Opera Silver Dust. Um, quite interestingly, actually, Visconti have changed the um, outer box cover. Uh, it's actually a, a very sort of like grey, like mid tone grey colour. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of different. Um, normally they have like these yellow boxes, and then uh, Instead of the, they used to go with clamshell boxes, and they've now gone with this um, rather strange sort of box, uh, which is is a half height box, and the lid just lifts off like so. And then inside you have um, the Visconti Opera Silver Dust, and you have a traveling inkwell. Now, um, Sometimes Visconti do actually include the travelling ink well, sometimes they include just an ink bottle, sometimes they actually do both. Um, in this particular model they just did the ink well. Um, and the Silver Dust is very similar to a lot of the Homo Sapiens, but it's not actually in the Homo Sapiens range. Um, so you don't actually get, uh, like for instance I have a, like a London Fog here, you don't actually get the Homo Sapiens uh, rings here on the cap. But uh, it's, it has very similar sort of swirls like the London Fog does, but it's, uh, it's going to say it's actually of silver dust, hence the name. Uh, I don't know if it is silver dust or if it's palladium. Uh, I would say it's probably not dust. Um, it's more like metal shavings, I would say, more than anything. But, um, but I'll, I'll show you. But here's the Visconti Travelling Inkwell. And basically what you do is you un cap that and you have like a little um, ink dabber um, just a little bit of fiber and then you basically unpull the cap and then you fill that up with ink and then you can actually ink up your pens and this holds quite a quite a bit of milliliters of ink so uh, it's actually quite useful anyway I'll put that to one side for the moment and I'll show you the the pen so if I just zoom in a little you'll be able to see um, the level of detail, uh, it's, it's a transparent pen, so similar to the London Fog, the Florentine Hills, uh, the Chiantashire, it has this ribbon effect in the body, um, with, uh, like, like I said, like silver dust or, or silver particles, and you can see when I rotate it, it actually starts to sort of shimmer and sparkle it's almost like the um metal particles are actually stored within a like a a, a resin uh ribbon of, of sorts but it, it's actually quite spectacular um i've really I, I really like the london fog the florentine hills of kentishire um and here you can just see there the silver i sort of move down here more there you go so it's actually quite a an interesting model. Uh, it retails for an MSRP in dollars of a thousand ninety five. It comes in two different versions. It comes with a, a chromium eighteen nib, which is a um, uh, a oh, CR eighteen, which is a tubular nib, which is basically Visconti's version of a steel nib, which I can show you on another pen. Um, this is the, the tubular nib. The reason why it's called tubular is that it wraps around the feed. Um, so that is a steel nib. Uh, I got the silver dust with the palladium nib, which is actually more expensive. So closer to that $1,095 for the palladium version. Um, and I can show you the nib here. So I've got a 1.3 millimeter stub on this version and it's a very, very juicy wet. Um, the, 
the uh, tines, the gap between the tines are, are very, uh, is very wide. So uh, I think on, on a couple of ink tests I did on Claire Fontaine, it took about eight minutes for the ink to dry. So this is a fire hose of a nib. Um, and to be honest, that's how I like my nibs. I like them juicy wet and broad. And this is a 1.3 stub. So uh, having that juicy wet is even better. So uh, you can also see here as well, you have the um, patented uh, hooks, uh, hook safe lock mechanism from Visconti there. You have the double reservoir power. So you actually have the, um, the extra small reservoir of ink there, which you can also lock off and if, if you want to fly. But look at that material, it's just, it is just really stunning how you, well, when you rotate the pen. And it looks just as good when it's inked up as well, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And this is just the the standard opera style, which is is a, a faceted body and cap. Um, the one thing they have done differently here on um, on this model is Visconti normally put um, opera on the cap band. Uh, they've actually put a Visconti V on here. So uh, I thought that was quite interesting. I actually do like that. And then you have the uh, uh, limited edition number here on the, on the rear. So uh, uh, the, the other thing that, that is strange is that Visconti more lately have been going with um, laser engraved uh, um, bridge clips. But this one they've actually gone back to enamel. Um, sometimes the enamel can flake off. I've had that happen a little bit on my Florentine Hills, um, but uh, uh, not on any of the other models I have, and I have quite a few models, so um, it's just that it can happen on some versions or some pens. But yeah, so this is uh, really nice. Uh, I'm actually very impressed with this pen, uh, and it writes very well. So uh, it's um, it's definitely a good writer, although have to be careful because it is very, very juicy wet. Anyway, uh, I think really sort of other than that, I can, this panel lifts up and this is where the um, pen and ink well would sit. So, uh, and you have just the uh, warranty card, international warranty as well. So yeah, I think this is a really, really good pen um, from Visconti. Uh, I love the swirls that the Visconti do, and uh, for me, th this this is is really good. So I'll, I know a lot of people would like to sort of see how much it weighs. So let's just see here. So capped or posted, uninked, you're looking at thirty eight grams just the cap on its own, just under 18 grams, and then the body of the pen without any ink is just over 20 grams. And you'll probably add another couple of grams there for, for ink. And just again, the, the total weight, uninked, is 38 grams. So what I'll do now is I'll go and ink it up and uh, show you what it looks like uh, with uh, Mont Blanc Oyster Grey. And here you have the uh, Visconti Opera Silver Dust inked up. And you can see here just how shimmery and chatoyancy that Silver Dust really is in the pen. Um, this is Mont Blanc Oyster Grey. I'll just zoom in a little bit and you'll be able to see see it a little bit more and you just see as, as you rotate it it's just you have that level of chatoyance there that really makes it sparkle and if i just uncap that and you can see it there a little bit more there of the metallic silver dust. 
So it's actually a, a really nice pen, whether or not it's inked or uninked. I think you actually see more of it really when, when it's inked. Um, I know a lot of people would prefer to sort of see a comparison. So here it is next to a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. Uh, you can see it's slightly longer. And then if I do a comparison here, and you can actually see that the end cap, uh, it actually tapers down more towards the piston knob. Um, the piston knob is actually both thinner and shorter. Um, but uh, the overall length, though, uh, is actually longer. So that's, that's quite interesting. So it is actually, I thought it would be shorter than a, a London Fog or just a regular Homo Sapiens, but uh, you can just see the um, silver there just, it just looks lovely. So I'll do another weight uh, comparison so you can actually see um, inked as well, weight wise. So inked capped, you're looking at just under 42 grams. And then the pen on its own, fully inked, that's two and a half milliliters of ink, just, just over 24 grams. So if you compare that to a Homo sapiens, let's see if we can, is it gonna want to, so Homo sapiens is actually just over 22 grams. So it's actually slightly heavier than a Homo sapiens. So maybe it's because of the silver dust in the body. Uh, I, I doubt it very much, but uh, it's interesting though. And then I think sort of fully capped and inked, you're looking at just under 42 grams for the silver dust and just over 41 grams for the Homo sapiens London Fog. So really not a lot of difference in it, but uh, I think that hopefully just gives you a little bit of uh, an idea, um, sort of what it's gonna look like in terms of weight. So there you have it, the uh, Visconti Opera Silverdust. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>